Tesla was once synonymous with innovation and pioneering in the electric vehicle market. However, the tides have begun to change, and this supremacy has been called into question. Several factors have contributed to this change in scenario. One of the central elements of this transformation is Elon Musk's increasingly controversial involvement in political and social issues. His often provocative public statements have generated intense reactions and, in some cases, have been damaging to Tesla's image. With the company's reputation at a crossroads, the lack of truly revolutionary new products only makes matters worse. There is a sense in the market that Tesla has lost some of its ability to surprise. The Model Y remains the company's flagship. It is currently the only Tesla model that continues to deliver consistent results in sales and global acceptance. Yet this reliance reveals a lack of diversity in its successful lineup. While the Model 3 and Model S no longer generate the same enthusiasm as before, the Cybertruck and Semi still face technical hurdles and delays. This stagnation in the company's product portfolio has created uncertainty. The big hope for turning this game around is the Model Q, a car designed to be affordable, with an estimated cost of around use $30,000 after tax incentives. This is a crucial strategic move for Tesla. This new model could represent the turning point the company was missing. The promise of democratizing electric vehicles is bold, but fully aligned with the growing demand for sustainable and affordable mobility. The Model Q will apparently be a compact hatchback. This choice is no coincidence. This format is ideal for markets like China and Europe, where smaller cars are widely preferred. The Model Q's mission is simple and straightforward. To make Tesla a reality for millions of consumers who previously saw the brand as unattainable. A mission that will require many compromises. To make this lower price possible, Tesla must adopt LFP, lithium iron phosphate batteries, which offer greater durability and lower production costs. On the other hand, these batteries have a lower energy density than the 4680. Technical simplification will also extend to other components of the car. Simpler materials, fewer premium features and a leaner construction will be part of the formula. Still, the Tesla DNA promises to be present. The intelligent connectivity, minimalist design and software experience should be preserved, maintaining the brand's appeal. Production of the Model Q is expected to begin at the Shanghai Gigafactory, taking advantage of the existing infrastructure and reduced costs of the Asian market, a logical step to maximize efficiency. In addition to China, the Texas plant could also receive part of the production, especially to serve the North American public. Each region could even receive versions adapted to local preferences. In the United States, for example, there is a high demand for crossovers and SUVs. As a result, the Model Q could gain variations to align with the tastes of American consumers. In Europe and Asia, the appeal of urban compacts will be the focus. Tesla, in this sense, demonstrates that it is attentive to regional market nuances. While the Model Q represents Tesla's affordable future, the new Roadster takes the other extreme. Extreme performance and exclusivity. It's the car for those seeking the pinnacle of electrical engineering. The Gen 2 Roadster is not a car for the masses, but rather a symbol of prestige and innovation. Its main function will be to reinforce Tesla's image as a technological leader. With acceleration from 0 to 60 millirems in just 1.9 seconds and a range of up to 1,000 calorie, the Roadster is expected to surpass all currently known limits for electric cars. This supercar will be equipped with the most advanced features available. Everything about it will be designed to impress from its performance to its futuristic looks. Despite this, its development is not a priority for the company at the moment. This is due to the low expected sales volume and the high production cost. Tesla prefers to focus in the short term on large-scale vehicles such as the Model 3, Model Y, and, in the future, the Model Q. These are the models that sustain the company's profitability. The logic is clear. Before investing heavy resources in a niche product, it is necessary to consolidate the base of the pyramid. Expansion is only possible with solid foundations, but the Roadster still has strategic value. It will be Tesla's showcase car, responsible for attracting media attention and fueling desire for the future. This duality between the Model Q and the Roadster reflects Tesla's current dilemma, to be an elite brand or to mainstream EVs. The answer may lie in doing both each with a distinct purpose. The market has also changed. Competition is stronger than ever. Brands like BYD, Hyundai, Volkswagen, 
and even Chinese startups are occupying spaces that were previously dominated by Tesla. In several markets, especially China, Tesla is no longer the sales leader. The growth of its competitors reveals an urgent need for a renewed strategy. Elon Musk's reputation, in turn, has also influenced this scenario. His controversial posts and public statements have divided opinions and alienated part of the more progressive public. Many people who previously saw Tesla as a symbol of modernity and innovation began to question the company's values, increasingly associating it with Musk's personal image. Tesla urgently needs to dissociate its identity from the controversial figure of its CEO without losing the benefits of his creative genius. In the technology field, the company still maintains an advantage in areas such as autonomous driving software and digital integration. But this is no longer enough to guarantee leadership. The lack of truly innovative launches in recent years has created a dangerous gap. A sense of stagnation is something no tech brand can afford to cultivate. So the Model Q comes at an opportune time. It could be the product that revitalizes the company, attracts new audiences, and reestablishes Tesla as a dominant force in the market. It won't be easy. Balancing low cost with quality and technology is one of the biggest challenges facing the automotive industry. But if Tesla can pull it off, the impact will be profound. From an environmental point of view, the proposal for affordable EVs is also essential. After all, the energy transition will only happen broadly. When electric vehicles are accessible to the majority of the population, Tesla could be a pioneer in this transformation if it can deliver a reliable, efficient, and truly popular car and the Model Q could be the first step in that direction. On the other hand, the Roadster will be the aspirational icon, the car that shows where EVs can go. It will be less about volume and more about forward thinking. These two distinct launches could symbolize the next phase of Tesla, a phase of balance between performance and accessibility, between exclusivity and inclusion. Success will depend on execution. Coming up with good ideas has never been a problem for Elon Musk. The challenge has always been to execute them with excellence and on time. With frequent delays in its launches and often overpromising, Tesla's credibility has been tarnished. It's time to rebuild trust. If Tesla can deliver the Model Q on its promises, price, quality, and schedule, it could rewrite its destiny. And that will have profound impacts on the global industry. At the same time, if the Roadster delivers on its performance promises, it will reinforce the company's position as a technological benchmark, even in a niche segment. Meanwhile, the world is watching. Investors, competitors, and consumers are watching Tesla's every move, waiting for clear signals about its next move. The transition to EVs is no longer a trend. It's a necessity. And whoever leads this transition will define the future of global mobility. Elon Musk's ambition has always been to transform Tesla into more than just a car company. From the beginning, the company has been presented as a disruptive force, with a mission to accelerate the global transition to sustainable energy. This narrative has been key to attracting investment and building an extremely loyal fan base. However, as the market matures, Tesla now needs to prove it can compete on all fronts, including price. The global electric vehicle market has entered a new phase. It is no longer enough to be innovative. You need to be competitive. This includes efficient logistics, cost control, tailored marketing, and above all, the right product for the right audience. The rise of Chinese automakers represents a dramatic game changer. With state support, leaner cost structures, and massive production capacity, companies like BYD and NIO are conquering markets that once seemed inaccessible. Tesla, while still a benchmark, now faces competition that is unafraid of its presence, and that demands a response that is up to par, both in strategy and execution. That's why the Model Q takes on such a symbolic role. It represents a real attempt to win the scale game, a territory where Tesla has yet to truly consolidate itself. Offering an affordable electric car without compromising on quality is a feat that few brands have managed to achieve to date. Tesla is betting big on this formula. By simplifying design, adopting cheaper batteries and manufacturing in strategic locations, the company aims to build a product with global appeal. This approach could prove to be a winning one. The choice of Shanghai as a starting point is not just for production efficiency. It is also a political move, signaling that Tesla is committed to the Chinese market, despite tensions with the U.S. 
With tariffs and trade barriers rising, local manufacturing has become a necessity for any brand that wants to compete internationally without inflating its prices. The same logic applies to the North American market. Producing locally in Texas is a way to reduce logistics costs and face increasing competition from national and Asian companies. Furthermore, expanding charging infrastructure is still a challenge. Even with Tesla's supercharger network being a benchmark, it needs to keep up with the increase in vehicle volume. More affordable models mean more units on the road. This requires not only efficient factories, but also after-sales support, maintenance, and large-scale charging. Another critical point is consumer perception. For a long time, Tesla was seen as a premium brand. Now, with a cheaper model, it will have to deal with new expectations. Some consumers will see the Model Q as an opportunity to finally own a Tesla. Others, however, may consider it an inferior Tesla. Brand communication will be key. Maintaining the balance between prestige and accessibility will be a delicate exercise. A mistake here could generate noise among the older fan base accustomed to exclusive status. That's why the Roadster's positioning is also important. It serves as an image anchor, a showcase for everything that Tesla still represents in innovation and performance. While the Model Q drives volume, the Roadster drives desire. This duality is common in strong brands. The entry-level product drives sales, while the aspirational product fuels the brand. It's a strategy used by brands like Apple, Ferrari, and even Toyota with its Lexus division. Having an icon at the top justifies and strengthens the entire bottom line. In the case of the Roadster, the promise goes beyond speed. It will be a showcase of technologies that in the future could be adapted to more affordable vehicles. The use of new battery compounds, advanced aerodynamics, and integrated autonomous driving are among the expected features. Even in small volumes, the technical impact will be significant. There's also an emotional factor. The original Roadster was the first Tesla. Reintroducing that nameplate with stunning performance creates an emotional connection to the brand's past. But the Roadster's launch has been repeatedly delayed, raising questions about Tesla's ability to meet its deadlines, a criticism that has become common among analysts. The same concern applies to the Model Q. Although Elon Musk has made promises, there is still no concrete date for the start of deliveries. The company's history suggests caution. The ideal scenario would be to introduce the Model Q in 2025, with mass production in early 2026. This schedule would allow Tesla to compete with new offerings from competitors also targeting the entry-level segment. Meanwhile, other players are making moves. Volkswagen is betting on the IDT2 All, Renault is coming up with the new electric R5, and BYD has aggressive expansion plans for Europe and Latin America. The market for affordable EVs is about to explode. Whoever gets there first with a reliable, widely available product will have an advantage. In this context, Tesla's operational efficiency will be put to the test. Scalability, which has always been a promise, needs to materialize quickly. Tesla has already shown that it can manufacture at scale with the Model Y, but doing so with smaller margins will be the real challenge with the Model Q. Cost reduction must be accompanied by quality. The user experience, customer support, and vehicle reliability are aspects that the average consumer values highly. In addition, Tesla will need to continue to evolve its software, one of the brand's main competitive advantages to date. Even in entry-level models, the digital experience must be maintained as a differentiator. Connectivity with the Tesla app, over-the-air updates, and driver assistance features are elements that consumers expect, even in cheaper cars. This puts pressure on the engineering team to deliver a versatile, efficient, and scalable platform for multiple markets. Launching a simplified version of Autopilot on the Model Q, for example, could be a viable solution. It would be a way to maintain the technological identity without making the product too expensive. But competition is also evolving in this field. Xiaomi, for example, recently launched its first EV with strong digital integration, and Huawei has also been entering the automotive sector with a focus on technology. The entry of technology companies into the automotive sector is a real threat. They bring software expertise, something that traditional automakers have been slow to incorporate. Tesla still has an advantage in this regard, but it needs to stay ahead. Stagnation in this area could be fatal, given the rapid pace of innovation in the industry. That's why the Model Q needs to be more than just cheap. 
it needs to be smart, connected, and desirable. Without that, it'll just be another hatchback in a sea of electric options. The Roadster, on the other hand, has creative freedom. As a niche car, it can explore experimental materials, risky engineering solutions, and futuristic technologies. The Roadster's success will not be measured in sales, but in impact. Its presence on tracks, at events, and on social media will serve as a powerful marketing tool. Both models, therefore, play complementary roles within Tesla's strategy. One represents volume, the other represents vision. Together, they can renew the brand's positioning. If it can balance these forces, Tesla could enter a new phase of global expansion. But if it fails to deliver on its promises, it could leave a permanent gap for competitors to take over. In the years ahead, the game will be decided not by the boldest brand, but by the one that best combines innovation, scale, accessibility, and trust. Tesla may yet be that brand by Dizou, but the clock is ticking.